Okay, so we have the water started on the boil. We have the ginger, you see one root, approximately that amount is what's gonna go into this tea. Okay, so you gotta peel the root, chop it down. Actually, I don't peel all of it. What I'm doing is just taking off where it's knotty or kind of all. Yes, we want no knotty <laughs> ginger. That's bad, bad <laughs> ginger, bad, bad, bad. So this is what I'm cutting out and it's just because sometimes there's dirt or things that I can't clean off as well. Naughty ginger. Naughty ginger. Okay, a little quick rinse. And now it just gets sliced into, I don't know what you call them, about the thickness of it, uh, a hefty coin. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's just so that you get everything out of it. trying to get those uh, basically cut into little ginger medallions. Okay, and that is the sliced pile of ginger. Now we're moving on to the next step. Look how easy that was. Okay, we've got it on the boil. This is, uh, I'm gonna be setting a 10 minute timer so we can track it and know when it's ready to go. And the sugar. There's another little hint here she's about to share. When you're done, if it tastes too sweet, then it brewed for too long. Although I guess if you do it for five minutes, then it's fine. See, that's one of those hot tips that you don't get anywhere else. Nobody else is <laughs> gonna tell you that. So just to be clear, so the ginger boils for 10 minutes. Then you put the sugar and the tea bag in for five minutes. That five minutes is critical, absolutely essential, because if you don't uh, set a timer for five minutes, once you've added the tea bag and the sugar, you're likely to end up with ginger syrup, and that's really not the objective. We're trying to make ginger tea. The syrup will come later. That's another secret family recipe. Okay, here we go. This is what, step five or six, somewhere in there. So you dump in milk, about that much, precisely about that much. It's a very exacting, recipe, just want you to know these ancient family recipes. They apparently did not have measuring cups back in the old days, so everything is done strictly by kind of eyeball and uh, the, uh, and it has to be organic whole milk, by the way. That's the key, organic whole milk. Hope you got that. Um, so, turn off the heat, and then this is where the magic happens. Here you go. Watch this. Okay, you gotta have the strainer. If you don't have the strainer, all of this is for nothing. It, none of this will work. See how that works? Look at that. Voila, ginger tea. I don't know, what would you say actually in Punjabi as to uh, magic happens here? <laughs> I don't know how to translate that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but okay, how about magic? We just, there you have magic. What's Jadugar. One more time. Jadugar. Okay, you got that? Magic, here. And that's what you should end up with at the, oh, sorry, wrong one. Let me look over here. That's what it should look like, see? Isn't that beautiful? It's like this creamy, golden caramelish color. You can see that should be about the amount you'll end up with, so enough for about two cups. So this will clear your sinuses. This will banish colds. Um, Tummy aches. It fixes stomach problems. Uh, it will, I've heard it could fix a broken arm, but I think that might be a stretch. Um, It'll make you feel better if you've got a broken arm. Okay, so there you go. So this is the panacea for all that ails you. Enjoy.